in Bristol today confronting the question of why do we prefer the books with the old covers? If it is anything, science fiction is the definitive literature of change, of social change, of technological change, of how the two are linked. So if we're looking for a definition, maybe that's where it should start or end. I would say that's where it ends ultimately. This is Bristol. As I say, I've been coming here since the early 70s as a child and then the early 80s to buy books and then of course I moved to the West Country a few years after that it's never far away and I see the city change a lot of course we change as well there's nothing we can do about it we change and we are changed the question is how much are we willing to let go in the 90s and beyond Pitch and irony became the psychic playground of the young, where it was cool, in parenthesis, in inverted commas, to like things which were old, retro, not of their time anymore, just finished. They were kitsch and cool. It was okay to like them, but only in a manner that was knowing and arch. This of course included things like the covers of old science fiction magazines and books, but it's actually changed now. Obviously those of us who are of a certain age can be sort of claimed for that familiar argument about nostalgia, that things were better when we were young, that we were happier, we were more optimistic. And so those things we see as better, it's Jeff Dyer's last word, as I think I said in the hay flock. But of course, it's an interesting thing now, watching YouTube, looking at other booktubers, SF. People much, much younger than me prefer the older covers. And I'm not seeing that in a knowing way. I'm seeing it with genuine love. They prefer the artwork. They prefer what could be called the naive folkiness of the old school. But why is this? Is it recognition that time has slowed down, that progress has stopped? I think it was Mark Fisher or Simon Reynolds who said, life has speeded up, but culture has slowed down. And this is absolutely true. This video is about science fiction and hauntology. Hauntology is a big thorny subject, difficult to pin down. So I'm not gonna try so much in this video. I'm just gonna focus on one aspect of it. One aspect of hauntology is the idea that we are nostalgic for futures which never came. And in the covers of old science fiction books, and in the undoubted fact that the pace of change and growth and innovation in SF has slowed to an imperceptible crawl, we are now nostalgic for futures that we know will never come. In his book Capitalist Realism, Mark Fisher says that it's easier to imagine the end of the world than it is to imagine the end of capitalism. 
as social change, perhaps this is why dystopian narratives of the cyberpunk variety have become the baseline cliché of SF imagery in games. We are, of course, already living in a catastrophe novel, a dystopian future where environmental collapse is all around us, where corporations rule, and where we seem to have almost limitless choice as long as it's virtual, but less choice in the real world. Now, most book cover art is rendered on computers. Even some of the greats of science fiction illustration still with us are experimenting with AI related art. Obviously this is cheaper, and simpler, saves time and money for publishers, but it does lend a certain generic feel. It's not as if there wasn't a generic feel to covers in the past, but at the same time when you're dealing with painting, with brushes, acrylics, oils, pencils, what have you, you're dealing with the stuff of the real world. Not the fake, not the virtual, the inauthentic, the Dickian world. So things have changed, there was more love. Perhaps this is why we prefer the old, because it was more distinct, more awkward, more definitive, more quirky, more individualistic, more original more stylized. I could keep throwing superlatives, that would be easy. And of course there is great cover art today, but there is a certain feel. If you look at crime fiction for example, which is even more cliched in its rendering and packaging than SF, you get this cookie cutter thing. And of course publishers are saying you love those books that look like this, so you might look like these because they look the same. Is that really what we want of SF? The same? Hauntology is the study of ghosts, of ghosts from the future semantic and semiotic ghosts. Things we are haunted by from the past, which never came to be. Things which will never come to be. We are haunted by being. Science fiction is a particular type of hauntology, because in its promises of the future, it increasingly provides fantasies rather than true innovation and this is the problem with most SF now I think it's going through the same old tropes the same old wish fulfillment the same old escapism and this started to happen to me in the late 80s with the dawn of the new space opera and I put it down to Banksy and Banks and you know the fact that it had never really gone away in the same way in the States as it did in the UK it went away for quite a while in the UK and some people have berated me for sort of being down on space opera because it's like the cardinal basic form of SF. Well, there isn't a mass media and isn't essentially in books. It's always been more diverse than that. So perhaps we like the old covers because they give us a vision of the future, which is more interesting than the actual future we've ended up in and the actual future that we'll have. The mathematician and philosopher Alfred North Whitehead once said, it is the business of the future to be dangerous, which itself would make a great definition of SF in one line. But I've always read SF, not to escape, but to confront possibility, to look at the way the future might be, to prepare myself for it, for all of us to prepare ourselves for it. And yet, what we find is that in the last 30 years, SF has folded in on itself looked inward, gazed into its own navel. It was in the 1960s, I think it was 1962, that Ballard said we should forget all that stuff and look inside and that inner space was where the real changes and advances would be in SF. 
He also said that Earth is the only alien planet because we are alienated. And it's the very strangeness of the changing technological world that we have to deal with. I'm aware I'm not making a very coherent argument today, but I've already talked about hauntology in the channel. At the end of this video, there'll be a link to one of my hauntology videos that tells you a little bit more about it. So do watch that. So those may be some of the clues towards the reasons why all of us, old, middle-aged, young, prefer the old covers. Perhaps it offers us more than the future we've ended up with. As I walk through this William Morris workers' paradise flat block area full of con apts of the Dickian variety, and I think about Bristol specifically, in the late 70s, 80s and 90s, there was a specialist science fiction bookshop here. Serendipity allowed me to go in, pick things up, discover them, handle them. There was the thrill of the impulse buy. And again, we're talking in terms of capitalism, but it's just an example of culture and how now things are denuded. I'm finding cities increasingly problematic. <laughs> 